where can I find resources to learn about system design in depth? Ah, well, let's see what the bot says. I actually like this answer, except that it's a repetition of the previous answer on how do I learn system design in the real world. I think the bot looks at in depth and real world and things that they're both the same. So the answers are also very similar. The books part of things is true and not true. Designing data intensive applications are, is a really good book by Martin Kleppmann, but it's, it's not something that will help you learn system design in tremendous depth. Okay. For that, you need a lot of experiences or uh, real world systems. You know, if you read the RFCs and if you read how these systems work internally, that will probably help you more. So if you're looking for some really good books on designing data intensive applications in detail, go for an excellent blog post maintained by Jeff Werner. He talks about real world experiences when building Amazon's, you know, huge system. There are blog posts by Netflix, excellent blogs on many of the systems that they have built and many of the ideas and thinking that they do around building these systems. Facebook. I think it's probably the best engineering blog post you can come across. No, not a blog post, the engineering blog itself. They call it Meta now. Uh, so they have amazing, amazing engineering and they do stuff which is unheard of uh, everywhere else. Maybe Google can, you know, take that kind of scale, but Facebook uh, engineering is, is something which is worth reading. Another interesting blog is by LinkedIn engineering. They also have some good system design blogs. I think they look a lot more on the basic side of things um, and it's not so cutting edge. It's more like, you know, simple things that are being done and which work nice. Um, if you're starting off with system design or you're, you're somewhere in between, that's a good place to go. But um, because the question says in depth, maybe, you know, that's not so useful to you. One key point that I think this answer totally missed is open source projects, open source contributions. They help you not just understand how to write good code, but also how these systems are designed in a way that are practical. Uh, and therefore, you know, those projects can be downloaded and used by hundreds of thousands of people, you know, serve at least hundreds of thousands of people. So instead of writing practice problems, I would probably put in open source projects over there. Instead of books, I would probably suggest blog posts because they are much more practical. Meetups and conferences, for once I'll agree over here, uh, it's really worth the effort if you're looking for system design in depth, because many of the concepts explained in these conferences are real world applications. So a team gets together, they have a challenge and they solve it in this way. So AWS has some really good conferences uh, and I think Facebook also at scale is some, has some excellent talks on engineering. Real world experience, this is a very good point. Of course, if you're looking to learn things in depth, it's best to do it yourself. Whenever you're working on any kind of a project, whether it's at work or freelance or even your personal project, think about how am I going to make the system better and better? Unfortunately, when you're thinking, you are one person. So you have a train of thought and you know, things are fine. But if you're data driven, if you actually have a lot of people on that project, usually this happens if you have a company, you know, you at least have money backing the project. So at that time, uh, it really helps to come up with new ideas and then run those ideas through your colleagues and then execute them finally, if they are accepted. So real world experience is a good idea. Overall, I would give this answer maybe a two. It's got one good point, which is real world experience. Online courses, books are usually around fundamentals or around slightly detailed system design. It's not really system design in depth, right? Even if they say advanced system design or system design in depth, usually what happens is they are talking about difficult concepts in system design, not really, you know, practical concepts or real world concepts in depth. You get them better at meetups and conferences where there's a lot of context for every question that is explained. Uh, so that's the reason why, you know, that's also a good point two out of five. If I had to add to this answer, I would say, look at blog posts by popular engineering companies, uh, you know, big, big companies like Netflix and Facebook and LinkedIn and Google have solved problems, which we are probably never going to come across individually as an engineer. So it's best to look at their experience understand what problems they faced, what the context was and how they solved it. And then if you face that problem ever at work, you can just like a magpie, pick the best part of the solution and apply it in your company. You'll be popular, <laughs> very popular.